Elon Musk has developed electric cars with Tesla Zero. and sent rockets to space and back with SpaceX. But now he's taking on what may be the real final frontier. We can do a full uh, brain machine interface. Combining man and machine with a new technology dubbed Neuralink, which would allow data to be transmitted between humans and computers. Here's how it works. An array of tiny threads, only a tenth as big as a human hair, embedded with thousands of electrodes, is inserted into the brain by a robotic device. The threads are connected to a chip that transmits back and forth to an external receiver. The interface to the, um, to the, to the chip is, is wireless. So you have no wires poking out of your head. Very, very important. Um, so you, it, it's, it's basically Bluetooth to your phone. Musk says Neuralink may help the human brain cure diseases and even reverse paralysis. Eventually, it could be used to connect with external devices. With um, a high bandwidth brain machine interface, I think we can actually go along for the ride. Um, and we can effectively have the option of merging with AI. I think this is extremely important. Neuralink claims the devices have been successfully implanted in rats and at least one monkey who is able to control a computer with its brain. The company hopes to implant the first Neuralink into a human patient by the end of the year. Analysts worry this technology could have unforeseen negative impacts. We aren't aware yet that the technology has gone in reverse, meaning that you can use some sort of external force to implant thoughts or something else inside of the brain. There are, like with anything else, there are downsides. Think about a hacker getting into a brain interface. Uh, that's one. Think about government control of people's brains, controlling what they think. Uh, things like that are obviously a concern. From Star Wars to the Terminator, science fiction has long dreamt of merging humans with technology. But with rapidly evolving robots and artificial intelligence, Hello, everyone. I'm an English artificial intelligence anchor. This what was once fiction is quickly becoming fact. As this technology evolves, the question may be, can we merge man and machine without losing some of our humanity? Jim Spellman, CGTN, Washington.